It's gonna rain here, and I have some breaking news. Sony Online Entertainment has been bought by Columbus Nova, and is no longer part of Sony. Along with being bought, they have renamed themselves to Daybreak Games. This is a lot more of a sexy name than Sony Online Entertainment. A name change isn't anything new for this company. Back in 1995, they were developed under the name Sony Interactive Studios America, then named to Sony Online Entertainment, and now Daybreak Games. One of the biggest changes that's going to come with them being bought out by Columbus Nova is games are now going to be coming to Xbox One. I'm assuming games like Planet Side 2, EverQuest Next, and H1Z1 will be making an appearance on the Xbox One. I'm interested whether the, limit to, uh, the limitations on the hardware are going to affect the games at all and how they're going to be limited, especially Planet Side 2. I'm curious about that. But I'm really excited that the Xbox One users were able to taste some of Sony's online entertainment's, well, they were games, games on the Xbox One. Along with those games, they've also developed DC Universe Online and the well-known Payday Heist. Now raise your hand if you saw this one coming, because I know I didn't. Honestly, there is no build up to this and there is no indication before, no leaked articles, nothing. It was very sudden and there was no input at all. From what I've seen, all the developers and the president of the company, John Spindley, are incredibly excited for this. They aren't under the monarchy that is Sony anymore, so I feel like they definitely have a lot more flexibility with the games they're going to be able to develop. When I first heard this news, I hit the panic button. Questions were going through my mind like, what happens to the games, and especially what's happening to the Planet Side 2 beta now. I was afraid that more delays were going to be oncoming, as this was just going to be a huge distraction for the company, and all the games they are developing. Luckily, Daybreak already came out and said it's going to be business as usual, and that all existing SOE games will continue to operate under normal circumstances. So that means that development cycles will not be delayed, and this was a huge relief, at least for me. Now that they're split from Sony, I think they definitely have a lot more tools at his, their disposal to make better games. Another few things that I'd like to attack on here is that one EverQuest Next is still being developed by SOE, well now Daybreak Games. And another thing is Station Cash doesn't change at all, though they will be rebranding it. Which is interesting, I'm curious what they're going to do, I'm assuming it should probably just rename, I don't think any big changes are coming to it. but. Yeah guys, that's it. Personally, I think this is going to be a great step forward for SOE, and I think they really deserved to be their own company, because they put out some great games, and they're a ton of fun to play. I can't wait to play the Planet Side 2 beta, and I can I can only imagine you guys can't wait either. So, le let me know what you think in the comments below. But, that's all ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked it, leave a like, like, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice night.